Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to apologize for not posting this video yesterday, so I pushed it towards uh, tonight due to, you know, whatever was going on with me yesterday. Like, I had something going on, and that had to be taken care of, and now I'm able to do this video just a day later. So, let's get started. So AT&T is doing this thing where you can track down your luggage with your, your smartphones or whatever network devices you have in order to be aware of where your luggage is at. Now, let's say you land in Los Angeles and then you realize your luggage is still you know, being transferred to the baggage clamp then okay or if it's still in New York then that way you can plan ahead. So how does this work? Well, here's the thing. AT&T's engineers have several ideas and, and, you know, some of them it looks like they have a chip in the luggage or they actually built the luggage themselves and then you're using an HTML website that AT&T has built themselves so you can keep track of your luggage. So there are like many different ways. Now, they're still not sure if they're going to actually make this official, but it seems kind of interesting to me. But because there are some benefits to it, and there are some, uh, you know, like, the non-benefits about it. The benefits would be that you would definitely keep track of your luggage, and you'll definitely know exactly where it is, and you'll definitely know what's going on with it, who's handling it, and that's pretty much it. The bad thing about it is that, obviously, from reading the article on Technobuffalo.com, there, there's definitely going to be a cost for this just as if you were paying for your mobile phone plan. All right, whether it's ATT, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, whatever the carrier may be, pretty much you're probably gonna be paying for this and it may not seem worth it if you only go traveling once a year, unless you do constant traveling, then I can see why this would be a need and then you would definitely go get it. Another thing is like, it has me wondering, how are you going to be able to keep track of your luggage while it's on an airplane? And plus, you know, on the article itself, they were like trying to do something with the cargo planes so that way you can fit like these kind of luggages in there or you can actually put these kinds of luggages in there without any interference. I mean, you need an internet connection. What if you don't have internet on the airplane itself? You can't, you can't see where your luggage is exactly, and, and plus, your luggage more than likely should be uh, on the same plane as you are on, which obviously that's the case, except it's just underneath. That's all it is. So, I don't know how this idea is going to work, and I don't know how AT&T and are trying to approach this, if this were to actually happen, but if it did, is this going to interfere while the plane is in the air? Is it going to do some sort of miscommunication when the pilot is trying to land the plane and next thing you know can't communicate with the airport very well? That, I have no idea how they're going to solve all this before they actually sell this idea or sell whatever product they have or they're going to develop to have this feature to the consumer. I don't know, it just seems like it would not work, in my view. Uh, and plus, you know, you keep track of your luggage, and, and then next thing you know, you find out your luggage didn't make it on the plane, then what are you going to do after that? Oh, well, they were saying you could pinpoint exactly where your luggage is and what it's doing, that's fine. But what if it goes out of the airport? They're not going to go chasing down that per person every single day to just, uh, just for one luggage. Maybe they will, depending on kind of what what valuables you have in there. Obviously, clothes is a definite. Maybe they'll you know, they'll try to go after uh, your luggage for that reason. But if you have important documents, passports, which you should not be having in your luggage. You should be having that on you. Well, licenses again. You should not be having that in your luggage. You should have that with you. Any sort of document, then they'll definitely have to go after for the luggage. No, but documents should be kept on you at all times. So, I don't see how this will work still. Plus, 
if you're trying to use a cell tower while you're on the plane to have internet, it's not going to work because you know, usually like the internet is blocked off when you're on the airplane. And plus, you shouldn't be trying to connect to the cellular uh, tower uh, while you know, you're in the air. Because it might have some sort of interference uh, while the plane uh, is in motion. So that's it. What do you guys think about this idea? For me, eh, it, it may seem like a good idea, but I just don't know how they're going to pull off with this. But the, if AT&T were to actually make this real, then uh, they have to make sure that, that there is not any interference with the consumer, with the planes themselves, with the air, well, whatever the case may be. And... I don't know. They even stated themselves that this does require a lot of work, so they're still working on it. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you guys want to read more about this, the link will be in the description below. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.